Hey guys, now in this lesson we're going to be looking at what is a multiple. We're going to define rather what is a multiple. Right, we have been looking at factors in the previous videos. So now let's look at what a multiple is. It is the product of two or more factors. Now, what does that mean or what do we mean by that? Yeah, now when two or more factors are multiplied okay and i am going to underline this word product whenever in math you see this word product it means to multiply okay so what i'm basically saying is this is that a multiple when i and this is the first example okay so when i multiply two or more factors the the, the product or that result that i get is, is a multiple of the factors. So let's say 2 times 3. And we know 2 times 3 would give us the product 6. Well, really, 6 is a multiple of 3, and 6 is also a multiple of 2. Okay? Because I can say 2 into 6 goes 3 times okay and 3 into 6 goes 2 times okay cool now also I can say 1 times 4 times 5 okay and that would be equal to 20 so the product of these three numbers are the product of these three numbers is 20 okay now, 1 is also a factor of 20, 4 is also a factor of 20, and 5 is also a factor of 20, okay? So when we multiply factors, the product or the result that we get is called a multiple of those, num of those factors, all right? So a very important note that I would that I want to bring to your attention uh, just to distinguish or to make it a bit more clearer about multiples and factors and how they differ okay let's say I had asked you to list the factors of 12 just for example okay and I'm just going to split my screen here split my screen I just want to to show you this so you bear it in mind in future okay if I had asked you to list yeah we're on multiples but we're 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 making a comparison okay list the factors of 12 okay and we're working with 12 now the factors of 12 when listing factors you would start with the number 1 anytime listing factors we're starting with the number 1 so I'm saying 1 and then I'm checking the next number the next number would be 2 because 2 go into 12 6 times then I know that 3 can go into 12 4 times 4 can go into 12 3 times and I know also that 6 can go into 12 okay but also 12 can go into itself one time okay so the factors of 12 are 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 however now on the other hand if I had asked you to list list the multiples multiples of 12 okay if I ask you to list the multiples of 12 the multiples of 12 they are infinite okay I could go on and on and on and on so basically I'm going to qualify this statement by saying list the first the first five five multiples of 12 so we're going to list the first five okay now if I'm listing the multiples of 12 okay the first five that is I'm going to say the first one would be 12 because 12 times 1 is 12 okay so when I multiply 1 and 12 the product is 12 so 12 is a multiple of itself okay now 12 twos 12 times 2 
is 24 okay and 12 times 3 oh I should maybe maybe I should be listing them just to make it a bit easier for you okay so I could say 12 oops let me just clear that I could say 1 times 12 is equal to 12 so 12 would be the first multiple okay then I could say 2 times 12 okay and that's equal to 24 and then I could say 3 times 12 and that is equal to 36 I could also say 4 times 12 and that would be equal to 48 okay and 5 times 12 would be equal to 60 now I have listed my first five multiples of 12 okay so I can just make a quick note to the side here my first five multiples of 12 would be the first one would be 12 the second would be 24 the third would be 36 then I would have 48 and then I would have 60 and this would go on and on so I'm just going to put three dots to show that it continues okay now what I want you to know this is critical now when I when I was listing the factors of 12 okay I started at 1 and this goes for any number if you're asked to list the factors of that number you're going to always start from 1 and check each number to see if it divides exactly into that number without leaving a remainder and I begin at 1 now and I'm going straight up to the number that I'm speaking about okay so I, I I was asked to list the factors of 12 so I have to begin at 1 and I have to stop at 12 okay there isn't a bigger number than 12 which is a factor of 12 okay 12 is the largest factor of itself that's what I'm saying now if you notice or if you should make a comparison with this now when I was asked to list the multiples of 12 in this case I had to begin at 12 in this case and I increase to what we call infinity meaning that if I'm listing multiples of 12 well in this case I listed the first five so I stopped at 60 but I could go on and on and on and on and on because the multiples of a number they are infinite okay guys so critical thing you need to note when asked to list factors you always start from one and check each digit going up to the number right when you're asked to list factors of the number check each digit from one going up to the number and you will stop at that number okay when you're listing factors however when listing multiples you begin at the number okay and you increase and we showed you how we how we got them here all right feel free to subscribe to this video if there are anything that you're not clear on you can always comment and we'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you and bye bye